Your heart knows the way. January 7, 2014 With so many distractions and worries that often fill your thoughts, it is understood that being always positive and hopeful can be difficult, and many times you arrive with the understanding that if something is to go wrong, all will go wrong or what has gone wrong will become worse. That's pretty negative thinking dear ones as you always have the ability to turn the negative into a positive just by changing your thoughts. Just because there is something happening that is making you unhappy doesn't mean you will remain unhappy or become even worse. It is essential dear ones to avoid the temptation to remain longer than necessary within those negative thoughts and feelings, and bring yourself back to having hope and faith that whatever it is that is causing you discomfort soon dissipates and goes away. It is true dear ones, many situations that you face that are severe may become harder to the point you cannot continue a moment longer, but once you face the fear and the unknown of the situation then clarity begins to set in and solutions come through that allow more light and love to enter that help to bring the current situation to a close. Unfortunately dear ones, you are unable to solve any issues or problems by ignoring them. The same thing goes for your spiritual growth and development. If you find you are stuck or not going anywhere in your personal or spiritual life, chances are that there are some issues you have yet to deal with, some that you have hoped would stay hidden. We know you want happiness as you were born to give love and to receive love. The moment you add happiness and peace as goals to reach, you begin to see any situation differently and the solutions to meet your goals start coming from fresh directions. We have seen so many dear souls toiling every day, becoming frustrated and sometimes angry over the occupation they hold, they are unhappy with life, with their job, and this unhappiness can easily spill throughout their lives as a needling toxic. We know it is difficult finding a job that resonates with your whole being, but if you can find something you love doing, then happiness is something that is not out of reach. When you are toiling in an occupation that doesn't bring you happiness and you are there for the paycheck. Then what we encourage dear ones is trying to brighten up your working area, become a master of the tasks you are required to perform, and find peace of mind that the job you are doing, you are doing it each day at 100% of your capacity. This way of thinking dear ones also can be applied to your relationships. Ask yourself a few questions in regards of your happiness. Determine your happiness level of each area honestly and truthfully. You may be surprised with your answers. There is much of yourself to learn through the answers you find. You may ask yourself what it would take to be perfectly happy. Then jot down all that comes to your mind. It could be better health, contentment, true loving relationships, serenity, greater wealth, etc. Allow your mind to wander and think of yourself being unlimited to all that is available. Even if you don't think you have the ability of achieving what would make you happy quickly, write it down because in the long term with well-placed objectives and goals, you will discover ways to achieve what it is that would make you truly happy that would deliver feelings of peace and contentment. Another question that is important to consider dear ones is knowing which situations and which dear souls you are not perfectly happy with. Think purposely of your whole day and make a note of every aspect that has made you unhappy or dissatisfied. Being able to recognize where the problem rests holds part of your solution dear ones. While reflecting over your life up to now, try to remember when you were happiest and joyful. Think about where you were, who you were with and what was happening. By being truthful and honest about the answers to the questions you ask yourself, you will discover you have begun to investigate further into yourself, you begin to discover your true and authentic self, the self that we of the divine see over any mask, illusion or wall that you may have cleverly constructed. By answering your own questions with a pure heart, one that is honest and truthful, one that does not have any need to cover up what has been found, you discover your own inner wisdom where your courage comes from, and with the sagacity to organize your whole life in such a way that you begin paving a way of attracting more happiness and become more peaceful and joyful as a result. By answering your own questions dear ones you can begin making plans to create the kind of life that fits you. There is no time demand on this goal, 
Just as long as you follow through each step of the way until you reach the desired outcome you have envisioned for yourself. Understand dear ones, all you do while on this path to bring more happiness into your life, you are becoming more enthusiastic, optimistic and positive. Your faith in yourself, the universe and in God becomes stronger and more confident and you are taking charge of your life instead of allowing others to determine which way you are to go. During many heated discussions, we have witnessed one dear soul or possibly both require the need to be right instead of wanting to be happy. There will come a time when being happy will be more important. It is important to ask yourself during any time you are in disagreement with anyone, would you prefer to be right, or would you prefer to be happy? We encourage you to listen to your heart dear ones and make peace and happiness the focal point for the goals you are organizing and creating to build in the many corners of your life, where you treat each part of your life as if it's special and deserving of knowing and having peace and happiness. In addition you purposely move yourself away from distractions that could have the potential of diminishing the value of being happy over being right. Allowing yourself to understand your feelings and finding peace within the moments you give yourself solitude on a regular basis will become a powerful learning tool that we urge you to engage. You will never be disappointed with the results that come from giving yourself the gift of solitude, it is very rewarding, healing and liberating not to mention a great way of knowing yourself on all levels as you allow your heart to guide you. Dear ones, there are so many dear souls that have not given time for solitude. They have created a life so busy that there is no time to be quiet, reflective or for self-healing. By giving yourself the time to reflect and to be totally quiet, so much is revealed to you when your mind is at rest. Your body finally relaxes and becomes one with your whole self revitalizing your energy reserves and bringing peace and tranquility where it was once absent. As you continue learning more of your whole self from the inside, you learn about many of the root causes to the feelings you have, and from what you learn and choose to improve, you begin trusting yourself and gain greater confidence. It is important dear ones to listen to your feelings and emotions. They have much to teach you. Through your emotions and feelings, you learn what it is that truly makes you happy, what makes your heart sing and what brings dissatisfaction and upset. You become more in tune to what feels right to your heart or what feels wrong. You begin to develop an innate trust with your intuition and you begin to listen to what your heart is drawing you towards or which direction it is directing you to take that will bring new ideas and concepts that will deliver an abundance of happiness, joy and peace of mind. It is essential dear ones to question what it is you feel is correct and determine without any doubt what improvements you can bring that will bring in more positive changes that will increase more happiness. Develop a healthy habit of listening to your heart and what your intuition is trying to tell you, the guidance you will receive will not lead you down the wrong path as long as you believe with your whole heart that the choice you have taken is of the highest of good. We know it will take time to develop your ability to listen to your heart and to act upon the guidance that is offered, but the more you trust what is being spoken to you through your intuition and heart, your road to greater growth and development becomes wider and much more accessible. And so it is. I am Ascended Master, El Moria through Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com